Hi everybody, welcome to the studio. So today I shared a book with my preschoolers, um, and I'm going to put it up here so you guys can see it, but it's called um, Do Is Talk is the name of the book, and it's by Carson Ellis. Um, and if you need a link to it, I, I actually got it from, this is a library book, but you can get it off of Amazon. Um, and it was a great book for the kids. I'm going to share a little bit about the story and why I thought it was so fun for the for the preschoolers to read with us. And then I'm going to share our art activity that we did to go along with it. So just to kind of tell you a little bit about the book, it tells the story of some bugs that come across a plant um, and then the, the, the fort that they build and the um, excitement that happens during the book. It's a little bit about... Um, the life cycle of the plant. So we see the plant from a teeny tiny sprout um, and as it grows bigger and bigger and bigger um, into a flower um, and then it wilts and it returns back to the earth and then in the winter time the sprouts happen, they come up again only there's more of them. The interesting thing about this book is it is all in a made-up language. So when we read this book we have to use the clues from the picture in order to understand what the bugs are talking about. So it starts with just one little bug with his friend, and he comes across a plant, and he says, do's is talk. And the other one says, manazut. And we don't know what they're saying. So it takes a little while maybe to get into the rhythm when you're teaching this with the kids. Um, and we talked about like maybe what what the bugs were saying to one another. What was he asking? We knew it was a question because it had a question mark. And what was the answer? Um, and then there's other things that happen off the page. So like over here, you see the caterpillar climbing up. And then on the next page, the caterpillar is hanging upside down and he says, ta-da. Um, and the sprout continues to get just a little bit bigger. And now there are more bugs having a conversation about it. And you can see our caterpillar has become a chrysalis. Um, so by watching the caterpillar, we see as time passes, also the, the plant gets bigger, um, and then the seasons change. So um, we see snow come on the ground, we see leaves happen, there's a spider that comes along and um, kind of messes things up. But the bugs are very playful. They actually, they build a fort and it has a pirate flag in it. Um, it's super cute in terms of illustrations, but my favorite part was the language component um, and reading in this made-up language. So. We do this with our three to sixes um, in our preschool classes. So, you know, early, early readers and writers, right? Really early. Some of our sixes might be reading. Some of our preschoolers might be recognizing letters. Um, so it was really fun to read this with them as they used clues to come up with maybe what the bugs were saying in the book. And then our art invitation, we do all sorts here. We do painting, we do drawing. Today was a collage invitation. Um, so we actually constructed little bugs and little bug worlds using scissors and paper. So when I teach this with my with my preschoolers, I model it for them and I talk through my thought process and how I'll do it. Um, I talk through the tricks I use, you know, like folding your paper in half so you can cut two wings. Um, we talked about how many legs an insect had. Um, we talked about, you know, our conversation of um, you know, what kinds of bugs we could make. I made just kind of a generic bug and a caterpillar. I had friends that made butterflies. I had friends that made bumblebees. I had friends that made elephants. You know, I mean, it is what it is. But it was so fun to see how their pictures resembled the story. And not only could they tell me what they made and how they made it when we do our sharing time, but they can also share a story about what's going on in their picture. And they can tell me what what the bug is saying. And since it's a nonsensical language all over the book, whatever letters they wrote or symbols they wrote, they could make up something funny to say and say, it means, it means let's climb it, or it means um, how pretty is it, or it means run, the spider is coming um, in their, in their made up language. So it was a really fun um, activity to do with them, not just in the in the art, but also in the early literacy. Uh, so, so lots of things in collage project we can teach, right? We can teach proper scissor holding, you know, thumb on top, not on bottom. We can teach, you know, open and close. We can teach to turn the paper. We can teach to fold in order to cut two pieces at a time. Um, we can teach how to properly use a glue bottle, right? 
Um, but I love collage and construction as a preschool art uh, kind of invitation because it doesn't require drawing skills. It's like building a puzzle together. So if you have really, really young ones, so if you have the early, early cutters, you can have pre-cut shapes as well. And so that way they're not, you know, they're not taking a giant sheet of paper and cutting out of it, but they're cutting um, or maybe just trimming smaller sheets of paper and you already have some spot, some shapes trimmed for them. So they're just doing the piecing part. I hope that that's a fun, um, I don't know, art activity for you guys, for your parents out there, for your teachers out there who are looking to incorporate an art project with a story. Um, this is a good one to try. Um, like I said, it is called Deuce Is Talk, and it's by Carson Ellis. And if you need any like links to it or if you have any questions about this very simple activity that we did with our preschoolers that took up an entire hour and could have gone longer this morning, um, let me know. Have a good rest of your day, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon.